Are you a fan of comics and hoping to pen your own great stories? Maybe you're a budding illustrator, but the complex hurdles of classic comic book production have you questioning yourself. As aficionados of this visual narrative form, we know the immense hard work and skill it takes to bring characters to life and weave threads that stretch the limits of imagination. Let's be honest though, the journey to comic book mastery is fraught with obstacles. But don't worry. Today we're going to give you a revolutionary answer that will blow your mind. Welcome to AI, the game-changing technology that's redefining how comics are made. AI promises to simplify workflow, open new avenues for creativity, and help you realize your concepts faster than ever before. Making comics traditionally requires great skill, knowledge, and hours. But what if I told you that you can start right now with just a few mouse clicks? So dear creators, settle in, relax, and prepare to be amazed as you see how AI overcomes obstacles, offers clever fixes, and takes us on an exciting journey towards creating great comics like never before. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Go to the link I gave in the description and click on the Hugging Face link. On this site, we have the possibility to create every page of our comic. You will need to enter a scene and narrative summary in the prompt field labeled Story. For fun, let's try the Batman and Trump characters. Next, we have the option to pick a new style for our comic. On the left-hand side, tap the drop-down that defaults to American Modern. You can switch this to Japanese, American from the 50s, Franco-Belgian, or even Egyptian styles, among others. For this example, I'm sticking with the default American Modern. We can then opt for a different layout. You'll find four distinct layouts, each featuring a varied count and size of panels. Additionally, we can decide to incorporate captions at the top of each frame. These will auto-generate suitable text for every panel. You can toggle this feature on and off as you like. Lastly, all that remains is to press the Go button. Find it on the far right, click it, and the creation process will kick off. Expect this to take about one to two minutes. Ensure it displays generating a new story, because you might notice nothing occurring. Several factors could cause this. It could be due to high traffic on the site, or perhaps your text prompt exceeded the length limit, or you might be using an incompatible browser. If you encounter such issues, consider switching to Google Chrome like me. Look at this, there's our finished comic book. Isn't it gorgeous? Except for this one, which we can ignore, assuming that AI is still in its infancy. You can edit this later with Canva or other tools. Additionally, you can have the choice to enhance image quality by clicking Upscale, located at the page's bottom. Doing so will make your pictures appear crisper. On the right-hand side, there's a slider to zoom in or out. Next to it, you will see a save button. If nothing happens when you click it, wait. After about 10 minutes, the file will download. If you don't want to wait, you have several ways to save. You can download each comic image individually. Finally, another option is to press the print button, and then instead of selecting your printer, change the destination to save as PDF, and then click the save button. Let's try other styles. Watch how I switch between styles and produce the result. Here's the Japanese style. In this style, we prompt Godzilla, the Japanese imaginary monster. Look at this monster. What an imposing creature. Let's try American 1950 style. Here's the prompt. Iron Man in the World War II. And Avada Kedavra, our superhero Iron Man in the Second World War. Let's try the Nihonga style. Here's the prompt, this time starring a samurai and his katana, and the result. Let's make a comic about one of our favorite comics, Lucky Luke and his cute horse, Jolie Jumper. We will use Franco-Belgian style. You can create many comics like these examples. All you have to do is create prompts according to your taste and imagination. Our next style is the Flying Saucer. Fatman the Human Flying Saucer lovers must have had an emotional moment. Look at these drawings, they're exactly the same. And as a bonus, my favorite villain is the Joker. Look at this great character. We've seen drawing styles and examples of comics. Now it's time to give them a little touch with Canva. Now that we've gathered all the material, it's time to move on to the next step. At this point, we're going to further fine tune our comic. I'm quite amused by the Donald Trump and Batman strip, so let's improve it. For this, we'll go to Canva. You can use any image editor, but Canva is particularly user-friendly. It's available for free, and they even offer a 30-day trial of their pro version. First, drag and drop your comic page into Canva, 
Scroll down, click on the uploaded image, and then hit Use in Design. To add speech bubbles, go to the left panel and click on Elements. Search for speech bubble here. Pick from a wide array of different speech bubble options. Let's go ahead and add some. Great, now click on text found just below elements. Add some words and then look for a comic style font. Repeat this process for all the scenes you want to do. For added flair, return to elements and search for comic. Here, you can include some classic comic book elements. Feel free to be imaginative and enjoy yourself. I am passing these parts quickly so as not to waste your time. You can do excellent work according to your imagination by taking enough time. Once you're finished, hit share, then click download twice. Repeat these steps for each of your other pages and voila, you've got an awesome comic book, all thanks to I. Let's take a look at the final version of our comics page. I'll show you other examples where I didn't add speech bubbles. Well, my friends, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I would be very excited to hear your feedback on your experience making comics with AI-powered tools. Please share your impressions and conclusions in the comments below. If you found this guide useful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, happy creating. See you in the next video.